Welcome to another episode of What's New in Cabinet Vision version 8. In this video, we're going to be going over the new features found in the Material Catalog, the Parts Catalog, the Job Properties, and in the Room Layout. We will start this off by looking at the new features in the Material Catalog, so let's open that up. Now that we have that open, let's go to the Slides tab, as this is where the new Material Catalog feature exists. Finally, we just need to click on the Slots tab. Now you can see that, starting with Cabinet Vision 8, you have the ability to add an offset value to the slots that are created in the door. Additionally, you can specify whether the offset value is from the center, back, or front of the door. Next, let's take a look at a new feature that can be found in the Part Catalog. If you've ever worked with the Part Catalog, you will immediately see the new feature, but in case you haven't, we added a new option. Starting with Cabinet Vision 8, you have the ability to specify that given parts will always ignore whether or not there is a grain pattern for the material. Now that we have the material catalog and the part catalog out of the way, let's move on to the job properties section of the video. We'll start by opening a new job. The new feature that I want to go over is in the door section, so let's move over to the cabinet section first. Now we need to move over to the doors tab. You should notice the changes we made, but I'll still go over it in a bit more detail. First, we consolidated the Doors tab so that all the door styles can be selected in one place. Next, we introduced this Property Sheet style grouping so that you can select your door styles and door options more easily. Now, we also introduced this All section. This allows you to specify the door styles and options for all the doors. When you change any properties here, all the doors will follow the style and options. You can then go to the specific door type and change any properties you need to suit the job. That does it for the job property features. So let's take a look into the layout features. We just need to click OK and start a new job. Now that we're in a job, I'll fast forward a little and create a bedroom for us to work with. With this, I can show you the first new in-job feature. Starting with Cabinet Vision 8, we have the ability to edit the shape of a part directly from the floor plan. The first thing we need to do is right-click over a cabinet object to bring up the context menu. With the context menu open, you can see the Edit Part Shape menu item. If we hover over that menu option, a list of all the parts that we can edit appears to us. Two quick notes. First, you can do this in either the plan view or the elevation view. And second, if your layers are set to show cabinet outlines only, the Edit Part Shape context menu item won't appear. The next feature that I want to talk about has to do with the ability to define ceilings. To create a ceiling, we just need to click on the Ceilings button here. You use this feature like you would use the Floors feature. You can either auto build a ceiling, or you can draw your own. The next feature I want to talk about is in the 3D view, so let's go there to check it out. If you haven't noticed what the new feature is, it's right here, the new Camera Ribbon Group. Let me expand it out so you can see it a little better. Now, the group has all the old camera controls, like rotate, move, bird's eye, and enhance. The big thing that we added to this is the new camera views options. Starting with Cabinet Vision 8, you now have the ability to save and recall 3D camera views. Let's take a moment to see how this works. The first thing we need to do is get the 3D view adjusted exactly the way we want it. Now we can just right click in the workspace and we will find the Save Camera menu option. If we click on this, the Save Camera dialog will be shown. We can now rename this camera view to anything we want, as long as it's no more than 15 characters long, and click OK. Let's move the camera around a bit just so we can get it at a different angle. Next, we can open the camera group and select Camera 1 from the drop down and you can see how it just snaps back to the camera angle that we saved. The next feature I want to go over is the ability to add new finish colors inside of a job. To do that, we need to first click on the Colors button. Now that we have the colors showing, we can click on any of them to continue. I'm going to click on the Assembly Exterior for this example. And here we have the Familiar Colors dialog. You can see that we added a new button that happens to be named New. If we click on it, the Finish dialog is displayed. We can use our mouse to click here to select a color. 
If we know the RGB value of the color, we can enter it here. We can also use this slider to lighten or darken the color to suit our needs. Finally, we can enter the name of our new finish here. Now, let's move back to the plan view so that we can check out some of the other features. A quick note, the favorites section, here, has had its maximum item number expanded to 32. The next feature has to do with right-clicking on cabinets in the plan view. Essentially, when you right-click on an object and select the Section menu option, you will be brought to the Elevation view and go into the Section Editor. There's a couple features that I didn't show for the layout features as they are a bit more abstract. First, we did some work to the program to make it faster to rename rooms in the Job and Room properties. Second, we made it so that when zooming in on an area in the 3D view, the camera will actually zoom in on the location of the mouse. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on the new features of Cabinet Vision. We hope you enjoyed it, and as always, if you want more information on Cabinet Vision Solid, please visit our website at www.cabinetvision.com.